Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is my keyboard and mouse combo. I bought them together as a bundle for £12 which is about $15. Just like a lot of other people when I'm not making videos, I'm watching them and a craze that's caught my eye recently are keyboards and mice. Fancy ones with flashing lights and mice with about 8 buttons. That's cool if I was an octopus, <laughs> but to be honest, I've never seen the appeal. In fact, I tried out a mechanical keyboard the other day, and it didn't really wow me like I was told it would. I know accuracy and everything are key factors when gaming. Something more expensive peripherals can improve, and that I get, but some of these things are pretty expensive. I'd hate to see some of you guys thinking that you have to buy expensive accessories, so today we're going to be reviewing my Microsoft 850 wireless combo, both of which I use to edit my videos, play my games and type the scripts that have formed the basis of this channel since the beginning. It's not just internal PC hardware that we can save money on. So the first thing you'll notice is the sleek black finish complemented by a shiny exterior that frames the keys, which themselves have a sharp white font allowing easy readability. As someone who wears glasses, I can appreciate this, especially as there are no red, green or blue lights dazzling me as I type. Being wireless, these things are battery powered, and you even get a little indicator that lights up when you're low on juice. Annoyingly, there isn't a caps lock light, which is actually my biggest concern. Half the time I've shouted the sentence onto the screen because I've left caps lock activated and if they used a light as the battery indicator, would a caps lock light be so difficult? Moving on to the mouse and we've got a simple slightly rounded design that fits well in your hand and offers a single scroll wheel that clicks into place with every minute turn. There's also a place to store your Bluetooth adapter in the back in case you want to take it on the train and use it with a laptop. This section doubles as the single battery cover too, and in terms of usability I've had no problems with gaming or anything, my inaccuracy here is simply due to the fact I suck at a lot of games. So let's talk more about that, the usability. As you can see we're playing CSGO here, a game that I've recently re-downloaded as a lot of you guys were requesting it for benchmarks. There's no issue with key placement or the firmness of the keys themselves, and a stern and bassy click from the mouse helps to emphasise the fire button as you dispatch the enemy, making the gameplay all the more satisfying. I'm not a conventional reviewer as you can tell by any means, and saving you money is my priority. An expensive keyboard and mouse just doesn't seem necessary to me. When this bundle was on sale I snapped it up, and I haven't looked back since. I had to pay a premium for wireless, otherwise I could have had the $8 bundle, but this way I can sit all the way over on my sofa and get to work in comfort. So there we have it. Guys, this video has been light-hearted and I only made it because my order got delayed, but there is a slight note of seriousness that goes with it. Don't think that you have to get a fancy keyboard and mouse for gaming. If you can afford it, are super competitive, and you need those extra milliseconds of response time, then go for it. But if not, don't worry about it. And that's why I game on a $15 or £12 keyboard. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Leave a comment about what you think on this video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.